Now we'll move on to Matters Energy. All new low-cost government buildings in South Africa are now required to install solar water heaters as the country struggles to provide electricity to its growing urban population. But while the move is in line with international trends towards green energy, you've seen this in other African economies as well, CCTV's Angelo Coppola reports that it has attracted praise and criticism in equal measure to what are seen as poorly thought-out policies to ensure its success. The South African market is on the verge of significant growth. The country will produce about 1% of 1,400 megawatts of the world's solar capacity in the next 12 months. And it's expected that 8,400 megawatts of solar power will be produced here over the next 15 to 20 years. With, with the program now firstly having specific uh, allocations over the next three years, you know, manufacturers can now forecast um, what the requirements of the market are. And, and if you can integrate manufacturing for utility scale, commercial and industrial particularly, where you can use a very similar footprint in terms of the panel, you know, you're then op opening up the market further. Um, the key to this is going to be a strong local partnership. Local residential solar power market has not been attractive to foreign manufacturers. And this isn't set to change anytime soon. Even with a 15% surcharge on imported panels, it's currently cheaper to import those panels and heaters. The commercial sector is a different proposition. There's a new building law that all new buildings must put in solar water heating. Now, so any new house that goes up, or any new warehouse or store or whatever the building is, it must uh, install either solar water heating or heat pumps. So that improves the market, but not domestically. The government has introduced incentives for residential use of solar power. And all new government low-cost housing developments must have a solar water power heater installed. And the cost of insulation is carried by the local authority. If it wasn't, homeowners like Calvin would simply find it too expensive. Too much because uh, uh, we use both uh, microwave, fridge, yeah, it costs a lot, but with this thing for a, a geyser, I mean, we are saving them. Yeah. I wish maybe if everything is for solar. South Africa's water heating load is primarily sourced from coal-powered power stations. Solar water heating technology will take the load off the national grid, and it's cost-effective. When one considers that 30% of South Africa's electricity is actually used to heat up water, it's no surprise that the country has started to employ solar water heaters on all the new developments. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Alexander near Santon.